Hello, this is the eighth video of additive manufacturing section from the Tech Hub project. So let's see what product we will prepare today for additive manufacturing. So I will go to the Smart Tech Hub website for the Tech Hub 4.0 and we will go to the section of the products and just select uh, download the ESTL for that product and we will prepare it for uh, additive manufacturing. So let's go to summer school, read more and from here go to the section where the file are. So here they are and we download the eighth product. Let's see what is the eighth product. This should be, let me check. So this is assembled toys. So here should be a few of uh, rings. So this is solid part, this is solid part, this is solid part. Okay, and it's assembled. Yes, so I will download just the ESTL and I will open it. Yes, so we will see the ESTL. Yes, and it's uh, assembled. So here we have six rings. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and they are concentric and on the same plane surface. Okay, so let's open uh, first uh, software, Ultimaker Cura, and let's create this um, this product. How I said early, I will open and uh, upload the file, and you see the position, the orientation of the file is not the correct one. And in this case, I will orient it. So I will take rotate and say, or flat, yes? and it will go on flat surface. No, it's not good. So I will just reset and take flat surface and show on this smooth surface. And now it's correct oriented. And also I will put it on the center. So I will take here the coordinates 0, 0, 0. So this is the correct position. And now I will show you how to set up a proper uh, material. So uh, on previous video, we select the material from existing one. Now let's see how to create a own material on Multimaker Cura. So we come to the we come to the material section, open, open the material, and here I have manage material. On manage material, I can select a type of material, a generic one or from some manufacturer. I can select a material from an um, existing uh, manufacturer or I can take it from generic. So I prefer to take it from generic, yes, not from some existing one. Why? Because I don't want to take something that exists on the market. So I will take a generic PDA, yes, this one, and we will set up here the settings. So the display name will be, let's say, um, own PDA, yes, and brand will be, of course, Tech Hub. Yes, in our case, it will be uh, uh, sorry, I modify something existing and that is not okay. Yes, so let it be here and just duplicate this. Look, duplicate this. Yes, and on this duplicate, make modification. Yes, keep and on this uh, duplicate, make modification. So here will be own PDA, on the brand will be Tech Hub, of course. Uh, let me go there. So here will be Tech Hub. The material type will be PDA. The color will be, let's set some type of light blue. Yes. I don't know if I selected very good. Okay, the density of PLA, we can check this. So PLA density. And you can see the PLA density, it's 1.24. Yes, so here, look, 1.24, yes. So here will remain 1.24. The diameter, 1.75 millimeters, yes. And the price, and for price, I will check the existing filaments, yes. And I will look on the local market, of course, yes. So I will look on existing market in Romania. So we'll 
take a material from here. So filament and I want a PLA and I want uh, some blue, yes. So this will be uh, a material that we want. Yes, a blue one. And let's see the price. So it's one, it's 1,000 uh, grams and the price is 119 uh, Romanian lace. So let's say around two euro, yes. And put here 190 and this will be 24.15 euros. Okay, so here we will introduce, uh, sorry, <laughs> how much? 24.15, 24.15, and here will be 1,000 grams. Yes, okay. And now just close this material. And you can see here that the printer can be, look, I can take on our own printer, Tech Hub 4.0, I can set up the material for, um, for our project, but it was created in uh, another uh, project, yes? So we should create it here. So I left the printer to be 3D creator because there was created the material, yes? So I will change the printer to the 3D creator and from this list, it will be automatically set it our material, Tech Hub own PDA, yes? So this is our material and you can see that the part has same color, yes? How the material. Okay, and now just make some changes because these uh, surf, uh, these um, products don't need support structure. We just take it off, yes, and nothing of build plate or can here because the part is very big, but the contact surface with the build plate is very small. Here we'll put a brim. Yes, what is a brim? It's like a very very thin skin. Okay, so we will see after we make a slice and preview the process. And starting with next video, we will discuss about other uh, other uh, parameters. But now I want that you see the skin, the brim that the software will put in order to increase the contact area with uh, the build plate. Yes, so you can see that here it's a very very small. It's one layer, the thickness of a skin that increase the contact, you see? It increase the contact with a uh, wheel plate and in this order, we ensure that our part will remain there during the printing process. So, it will take six, um, six hours and seven minutes and it will consume 32 grams and the cost of material will be 0 0.77 euros, 77 cents. So, in this order, we can um, know how, uh, what is the cost of material for this product. And there we can add the time of energy consuming, of the um, printer uh, usage and so on, and we can calculate the total cost of the product. So, just save it on desktop and say, assembled choice. Save. And this will be used for 3D Creator. Okay, let's switch to second one, to Zortrax. Choose the printer, Zortrax M3 Plus, of course. Choose the uh, file that we want. This is the file. Again, rotate the part, orient it correctly. So just take this, say, place by face, and show one of the small face. Okay, print settings. And here we will uh, choose, like always, Zortex material, Z-Hips material. We don't need support, so I will uh, left it automatically. And because the angle of these strings is very small, there will be not but the support structures. And after that, we will uh, check the nozzle diameter and it will be kit 0, 0.4 millimeters, the layer 0, 0.14. I think it is very too precise, so I will take 0, 0.19 and the quality normal. After that, the type of trajectory will be normal and the pattern will be perpendicular or grid or pattern one, like in this case. 30% of infill is enough and the layer of uh, top and bottom surface will be five layers top, five layers bottom and the um, switch between layers will be random and the gap between the raft and the part will be zero 
33 millimeters and the gap between platform and the raft will be 0 0.25 preview and that's it and how you can see on these type of parameters the time will be smaller and the material consume will be smaller than on ultimaker cura so if we have available different type of technology in our laboratories we can choose on which uh, printer it will be more cheaper for us to product this product and we can take uh, that uh, type of printer in order to decrease to make the product cheaper so just export now the file and we can put it on the printer and print the product. And also after printing, we can compare the quality of each uh, product. And let me uh, see if we have uh, the example of printing product there. Yes, it should be there. Uh, example of uh, one of these, uh, at least one of this type of product. So this was the eighth product. Let me open the eighth PDF tutorial and let's see the last pictures on the eight. So this was the 3D modeling one. Uh, okay, and let's see if we have a printed version of this product. Yes, so this is how the printing processes take part and this is the final product. So you can print for your own this type of product. And here, of course, you have the bot uh, codes, the Z code and the G code for different type of printers, Zortrax printer and other type of printers. How we have uh, like uh, 3D, 3D creator, Creality 3D and so on. Thank you for watching. Wait you for next video. Bye.